just a quick courtesy, this video is not really for small children, but enjoy. Before my reversion, I wasn't always chaste. In fact, they used to call me Laura the Hora, Laura who wants to score a back of the bus blondie. We need to reject our culture's modern view of beauty. In fact, I love my wife's cottage cheese size. I love her waffle butt. I love her boobs that now look like slides because she's breastfed our three kids. I love to ride those bad boys all day. They used to call me Laura the lollipop licker. They used to call me Laura the one up. That one still hurts a little. I am here to talk about today something that rhymes with mastication. It is self-gratifying and self-injurious and not ordered towards the proper order of things. It what can are you talking do. About? I'm a chemistry teacher. As an unmarried woman, I am here to discuss marriage and sex with you today. Sex before marriage is awkward, imprudent. You might get an STD. I don't know if you've seen the chart, but if you slept with one person, you've basically slept with 10,000 people. But sex after marriage, there's no hurt feelings ever. It's always amazing. And you get to snuggle with your best friend. Not my best friend though. My best friend's name is Tyler. And like we've already discussed, he's only 5'10". Now I was a virgin on our wedding night, but my wife had a different story. She was not. But I remember the words that Christ taught us. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. You cannot cast stones on people that have hurt you. Like I can't throw this stone at Charlie Wazinski's face for deflowering Denise. I can't do it. You can't do it. Just like you couldn't deflower my wife, Charlie. We were on the same lacrosse team together. It's important to remember, if you haven't waited till marriage, you still have value. Like this piece of gum. It still has value, even though it's lost a little bit of its flavor. You might be saying, isn't it old and over chewed? Yes, but it's still from the gum tree. So we're going to pass this around and chew it and see how it's still valuable. Like you, even though you're flavorless, valuable gum. 